What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video today. I want to talk about financial role models, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Link will be in the description, trying to hit a thousand subscribers. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, and many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today, I want to talk about financial role models and the importance of having a mentor. Now, quick little disclaimer, I just want to say this at the beginning of the video, I want to remind everybody that I am not a financial advisor and nothing on my channel should be taken as financial advice. Moving forward, a mentor of mine once told me that you should not take financial advice from people who are not where you want to be financially. And I was thinking about this a lot today because that applies to everything. That applies to the silver and the gold, that applies to working a job that pays you X amount of dollars or a business that creates cash flow or using credit cards to your advantage and so on and so forth. And I was thinking about this today because I try my best to do all of those things and I try my best to only really pay attention to people who have what I want. I don't really take into account what David Debt and late fee Larry are doing. I don't really pay attention to those guys. I try to focus on the people who are making a lot of money, saving a lot of money, preserving their wealth, and utilizing their credit cards in a way that benefits them. And I want to talk about almost all areas of personal finance today. Yes, I will be touching on the silver coins, the gold bars for wealth preservation purposes, but I want to talk about a variety of other things as well. And the mentor of mine that told me not to take financial advice from people who are not where I want to be financially, that really hit home for me because I did not grow up in a rich family. I do not come from an upper class millionaire family. And I was taking all the wrong advice my entire life, up until about 2013 or 14, when I decided to kind of go my own way and do my own thing from then on out. And I've learned a lot in these last couple of years, and none of which I learned from any of the people that I had in my life growing up. The family, the friends, the neighbors, the teachers didn't teach me anything about creating cash flow with a business or striving for higher paying jobs or really anything about saving money. Nobody told me anything about saving cash, let alone saving money in precious metals. No one told me anything about how to use credit cards to my advantage, how I can benefit myself simply by using a credit card the correct way. Nobody told me anything like that. Everybody said don't get a credit card because credit cards equal debt which is wrong, because not all debt is bad debt, first of all. And second of all, I have a grand total of zero dollars and zero zero cents worth of debt. I've never paid a late fee. I've never paid a penny of interest. I use them to my advantage, and they pay me money. But aside from all that, I didn't have a mentor growing up. I didn't have anybody steering me in a specific direction. So the whole... Don't take financial advice from people who are not where you want to be financially. Makes a whole lot of sense, and that applies to everything. That applies to, you know, the fitness world. If you're somewhat athletic and you want to get completely shredded, maybe don't take advice from a fat person. Just saying. Now, one could argue that you could take advice from people who are not where you want to be because they can tell you what not to do, but for me personally, I would rather remove the negatives I'm not interested in instructions that have the words can't, won't, and don't in them. Unless, of course, it's don't you dare stop smiling. D-Y-D-S-S, -S, getting kind of cold outside, get you a hoodie, link in the description. But other than that, I have found it's best 
to have a mentor. And the cool thing is, here on YouTube, there seems to be an endless supply of mentors. And one thing that I can talk about from personal experience is that there are some silver stacking, some gold stacking channels out there who I'm not going to say that they are qualified to be mentors. I'm also not going to say that they are unqualified to be mentors. But hey, when I first got started stacking, I remember saying to myself when I was watching certain videos of these mountains of silver and, and, and the, these piles of gold, I remember saying to myself, that guy has what I want. I want that. I want that silver. I want that gold. I want to do what that guy's doing. Look at all that money he has. And the same can be said about non-precious metal related personal finance examples like a better job that pays more dollars, starting and building a business that creates cash flow, utilizing credit cards to your advantage. These are all just a couple little examples and areas where maybe it's best to have a mentor. Maybe it's best to have someone who has the results that you want, has the results that you need, or has some of the results that you want, some of the results that you need. These people can really come in handy. And as some of you may or may not have heard on my live stream last night, I'm sure some of you watching right now tuned in, but I'm trying my best to do all of these things. I'm trying my best to stack as much silver and gold as I can. Make as many dollars as I can on the job. Make as many sales as I possibly can. And build my credit as high as I possibly can. And I'm not really interested in doing it strictly for myself. I mean, I am doing it for myself. But ideally, I would like to take people up with me. I would like to take my friends up. I would like to take my family up. I would like to take my YouTube viewers up if they're interested. Now, it obviously doesn't apply to the unmotivated. It doesn't apply to the lazy. This does not apply to the people who take as many days off as their job allows, people who are anti-silver and gold, people who don't even save dollars, people who racked up a whole bunch of cons consumer debt, self-inflicted debt, and have really no desire to claw their way out of debt. This is not something that I want to do for David Debt and Late Fee Larry. And chances are, if you're watching this video, at this point, about 80% of the way through, then I'm probably talking to you right now. Because that probably means that you are somebody who's motivated, somebody who's driven, somebody who is money hungry, somebody who's a hard worker. I want to share as much information as I can, and I want to absorb as much information as I can. I try to maintain the mentality. I want to learn from those who are willing to teach and teach those who are willing to learn. We could all go up. We can, we, can all, we can all climb. One person doesn't have to climb up the other people. We can all go up. So if you're interested, if this is something that piques your interest, let me know in the comments. Also let me know if you choose to take advice from people who are only where you want to be financially. And if you do or have ever had a mentor, let me know in the comments. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. Link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs and of course a ton of other products as well. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers and a lot of which are being sold to help raise funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know from a personal finance standpoint, whether it's the silver and the gold, whether it's the dollars, whether it's the job, whether it's the business, whether it's the credit, let me know. Do you think that it's best to have a mentor? Did you have a mentor? Do you currently have a mentor? 
Who's one person in your life that you're taking advice from because he or she has the results that you want? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.